the labor union is at it. You know the attack against the national uh, representative, the chairman, how he was assaulted in uh, Imo State. And, uh, you know, I hope the uh, Uzo Dima, the Supreme Court governor, we know that he, he did not win the election. It was the Supreme Court that made him governor. And that's why he's doing whatever we see him do right now. And so the people in Imo are not going to allow this thing to continue. So that's why the people are standing up. But this time around, it's not any political party doing it. It's the people. The workers are the ones doing it. And I'm telling you, I'm just doing this video to call on Nigerians. It's not only the labor union uh, people that are suffering. It's not only those that are... Uh, in the labor union that are suffering Nigerians from every part, north, south, east, or west, they are all suffering as a result of this wicked, rogue government. And so I'm calling on Nigerians, especially the obedience. Everyone that knows that this government is destroying everything. Lives are just, I mean, everything is in shambles right now. So there's no government at all. This is a rogue government, an illegitimate government. You do remember how you came out during the uh, a one million man march? This is an open window for you to come out and air your grievances. Let the, this illegitimate government know you are not going to give them any rest until they do the right thing. So join the labor union, NLC. Every Nigerian should join them. Don't just be onlookers and spectators. That's why I'm calling right now. And don't let it be only in Abuja. Shut down Lagos Airport. Nobody coming in, nobody going out. Until they listen to your grievances. Until they do the right thing. That's my call. Whether you are in a good state, whether you're in uh, wherever, anywhere, where you know there's injustice, where you know there is poverty, people are suffering. And, and the people in Aso Rock, they're not they're suffering what you are suffering. The people in, at the, in the Senate, the ones in the House of Reps, see how they're sharing money. The cars they're about to, to, to give to all of them, 100, 160 million for a car. The one car can take care of an entire local government. My country people, sometimes the good me person they talk through. Not be say you just they like the ama person, the ama one particular person. But sometimes the good make you look round that person, make you see what in they happen. They not go tell me say Labour Party not they among the people where they want share that money for. Among the people where they want give those cars to. Why they not talk? Now they are considered this post where talk say, truth be told. Aside Peter will be factor, nothing makes the Labour Party different from all other political parties. And most importantly, so far, no elected candidate of the party at any level has distinguished his or herself in any way, shaped or form in line with the leadership quality and philosophy of Mr. Obi. Did any of them at the National Assembly reject the lustrous foreign Prado jeep bought with billions of naira at a time Nigeria are living in penury? Did any of them spoke against it even after their national chairman urged them to reject the car as a way of identifying with the Nigeria poor masses in a state like Enugu where they have overwhelming majority at the state parliament as any of their lawmakers shown any sign of being different will not see any of the lp for parliament we talk say ah this car will not go buy a more i be the presidential supplementary budget will bring come out of 2.70 trillion naira who of the, which of their objectors and say no? Say me they consider and well well. So you see, I'm say this life ain't get us be apart from Peter will be where people love. Ah, people to love this man. Una need to see what thing happen when Peter will be Alice, Otin, and Ethan 
go the market for weary. Hey, people crowd Peter B. They they shout. They they scream. The one they fall for grand, they fall grand. The one with you, they cry, they cry. My our president, they, they shout. My president, they salute her, my country people. Peter O'Pi could also keep making talk of all oh, weird, they don't let her talk of. They they shout, L.E.P., Okereke, 77. They they shout, they hate Peter O'Pi, my country people. I could they wonder who be the president of Nigeria. Because the president of Nigeria, he no get one third of this kind of population. We O'Pi gather, hey, my country people. If, okay, let's assume, say, O'Pi came out third. At least, first attempt. He came out told. He shake everywhere. Shake table. Table vibrate. My country people. What about if he has been there? Like he can't come as this. He can't come for 2027. Why it could be like? If he step his tongue could, could be like this according to I neck pronouncement. Too. Hello Nigerians. My name is Jackson Uday. I'm the Secretary General of the Coalition New Nigerian Diaspora Movement. With me here, is the director of mobilization and contact, Comrade Timmy Frank. In our determination to save Nigeria's democracy, deepen democratic institutions and values, protect our shared common interests, and protect the integrity of our country, the leadership of 30 different Nigerian diaspora organizations concluded a meeting that began one week ago to review the sham judgment of the Supreme Court of Nigeria on October 26, 2023, and demand that Bola Tunumbu must resign to save the integrity of the Nigerian presidency. It is our belief that Mr. Tunumbu not only rigged the 2023 presidential elections, but he does not possess the academic credentials to run for that election. Tunubu forged the Chicago State University degree certificate and as such committed forgery, for which he must be prosecuted. Tunubu is also a member of a drug cartel in the United States of America, as per the FBI document recently released. CNNDM has agreed that the reclaimed Nigerian diaspora protest a peaceful protest, non-violent protest, will be held around the world to expose the criminality of Bola Tunubu and demand his immediate resignation. CNNDM agreed to help mobilize and support any group in Nigeria to join the movement and the 30 days mass peaceful protest of reclaiming Nigeria. CNNDM agreed that Nigerian Americans should begin reaching out to their congressmen and congresswomen and pressure them to push the U.S. Congress to begin an inquest on the 2023 presidential elections in Nigeria, the Chicago State University and Bola Tunubu certificate scandal, and why the FBI refused to prosecute Tunubu for all his crimes. CNNDM agreed to raise $10 million for the 30 days peaceful mass protest and litigation that is being planned against Bola Tunumbu in the U.S. for all his crimes. CNNDM demand from the EU, the UK and the United States to as a matter of urgency place Mr. Ban on all the justices and judges of the appeal and Supreme Court who gave the sham judgment that legalized Bola Tunumbu as president of Nigeria. CNNDM agreed to mandate the Contact and Mobilization Committee, headed by my comrade here beside me, Comrade Timmy Frank, to announce a date for the protest that will be held soon. This action, fellow Nigerian, is aimed at reclaiming Nigeria from the hands of criminals who have taken over that country. CNNDM believes that Mr. Bola Tunumbu remains an illegitimate president of Nigeria on account of his drug crimes and certificate forgery 
for which he refused to declare when he sought to run for the 2023 presidential elections. CNNDM agreed to continue to pile the necessary pressure locally and internationally using all peaceful and legal means to force Bola Tunubu out of office. The group will mobilize Nigerians and protest in every country Bola Tunubu intends to visit to show to the world that he is a certificate forger, a drug criminal, and unfit to lead any nation. Nigeria must save itself. Nigerians must save Nigeria from criminal cartel. Enough is indeed enough. If everybody not rise up to stand for the truth, we go here and more. We go here and where where see judiciary don't they hear their own. After all, the Omago Mago we come from that area. Mm. Right now, now Nigerian judiciary workers lament, say ongao, poor pay, non-payment for 10 months. Say right now, now allowance are mid multi-million naira vehicles where they want to give uh, House of Assembly. Meanwhile, them not see, they not see bicycle. But yet, now they promote Sinubu, make it sit down for that seat with day. What are we not saying? This government will use you, they won't pay. See, Terry J come out the other day, the cry come out, say, eh, in, in, in perform for presidential eh, inauguration. He not see money. Uh -huh. I've been an inauguration, I've been a campaign. We don't care to know. This government, they owe debt. Debt, they, they are naked. They say they are, they join. Now, the question I be say, this old debt, which they want is not to do. It's for their own self-interest. In, they don't get you for mine. They don't get me for mine. That one is certain. Now, very simple thing. We be say I want ask. If at this stage we be say things add, that they buy car of one hundred and sixty million naira. Okay, what about if things can't go tomorrow? As Bola may talk and say, okay, Nigeria can't go. You can't sweet. How much do can they spend? How much as of as in blue can they spend then? That's my question. I don't understand. If they are spending 160 million for car, they, they their own budget in <laughs> for instance that money, the supplementary, whatever way they say they do. If you see their own budget for inside my country, people not be here. Now, how much your country should they spend if Nigeria can good? But as they say, most of the money now the same politician they spend now. Now the same people we be say they supposed serve us. Now they say they spend the money where they cry me they take help us. Fear no cash you. You can't they shake hand with German Chancellor. They pose. They take picture. When the country you say you want to deport your own people, then you can't put your mouth talk say you go only collect people where they behave way. Well. Me they deport they can't give you. I feel say this chancellor come walk Tinubu to his face. When he talks, say room not there for asylum seekers again for their country. It's a mockery that fix your country, Tinubu. He said no, he said no go fix. So say this is government way in console. Say in your honor to they give people appointment, you're the share and like eh, Olidara, you're the share and they go. <laughs> He said, no one listen. All the one we know, they do say, and Tinibu will fix the country. Tinibu will not lie, not they fix any country. First, we want to fix country, go first stingy, go owe money. The money will be say they fly for everywhere. All the nonsense money will be say if they fly everywhere. We'll be say the people no need. They go first seize that one. Uh uh, 160 million proud. We don't need that now. That senator will put him out that they say Nigerian road not good now. That's why they want buy buying for them. What a shame. Ah, God. Peter Obi say no go leave this government. We say go interfere for everything that they do. He say leave and leave and leave them. Wanna leave them? Wanna leave them? Wait till concern me Nigeria don't spoil. Nineteen states spoil pass on what they do. He say me kuna chuku na ya put me kuna no. And this one I come make Peter Obi come respond after Tinibu don't sign the supplementary budget with the House of Senate. My country people, see what Tim Peter Obi tell him. The recent expenditure of the sixty billion. For the purchase of SUV vehicles for, for the 100 legislatures in a continuation of the troubling trend in our nation today. We have continued to abandon the critical areas of development while expending scarce resources on needless luxury and creating comfort for those elected to serve the people. Our primary health care, which is the foundation of earth, a critical development index measure has collapsed, leading to our surpassing India 
a country seven times our population. In fact, mortality, a very sad situation. To allocate such a huge amount, which is more than what we allocated to our primary health care, is nothing but troubling. One third of that amount with proper negotiation would have given them locally manufactured SUV vehicles by innocent motors, PAN or any local auto assembly part to help boost our economy and create and retain jobs. Upon being sworn in as the then governor of Anabra State, I observed that our state high court judges, state government permanent secretaries and newly appointed state commissioner had no vehicles. Anabra state government had the order for two bulletproof SUV vehicles for my use. I cancelled the order and used the same money to negotiate a concessionary pricing with Peugeot Automobile to supply us 6406 vehicles, which were enough for all the cabinet members, including myself and my deputy governor. We used the vehicles for our first tenure and we are able to commence the work of doing more in the areas of health, education, and lifting people out of poverty. Nobody would contemplate this kind of expenditure under my administration. I urge all involved to depart from this path of wastage of public resources. A more prudent and transparent Nigeria is possible. Peter Obi. My country people, hey. Even the former SGF, Babachi Lawa, with fair talk, say, Tinibu no win the election, say, now Peter will be nine winner. He say, all the people with Tinibu, your pack put for them, minister, all the Mogbo people, he say, now only two people, now they're capable to work. He say, the rest, now the be market. Hey, my country people, you don't finish there, oh. Now they will come the ESA, the table where Peter will be, and that is shake. Ah, the thing shake, the rich ass of Rocco. Right now, now, words of threat, they come the use, say, the consequences, they are with. Uh, Peter will be and Dati with a wait for them. May they bring it on. Bring it on. We are waiting for you. Tinibu and your team and your APC, bring it on. My country, for some BOD TV, but now you can't draw the curtain. No, I'm not forget. I'm not like it. No, I'm not sure.